Then I'm going to start the ruler. Now that the rotor is going and the flask is in the liquid, we can turn on the aspirator. Full blast. And we'll notice that the stop cut is thinking upwards, it's not really pulling a vacuum yet. We need to bring it down. You can hear the change. Now, a vacuum has formed. And our flask here, and the solvent in it, could start boiling. Remember what I said about it being too full. It'll probably bump. Now the reason the flask is spinning, that was a bump. That, right there, was a very, very bad bump. That is not what you want to happen. And that is why you want your flask to be less than half full. We can see that it has violently boiled into the bump trap above. Now that stuff up there, if that bump trap is dirty, it is now dirty. If not, it has to be washed back into the flask and you have solvent again. Anyway, what I was saying is, the reason that it is spinning is to increase the surface area of the liquid on the sides of the flask. An area, as you'll know from spreading water over a table, is proportional to the rate of evaporation. So this also speeds evaporation. You'll recall what I was saying about the temperature before. On the flask here, that is not in the water, or we look at the flask in the water, we see where there is water touching the flask, it is clear. But on top we have a layer of ice that has formed from condensation on the flask being frozen because of the evaporation process. We can also see our cold finger hard at work. We see the solvent collecting on it and dripping down into the waste trap. Let's speed up a few minutes. We're just about finished with the rotovapping. You can see the amount of solvent in the flask has decreased. As it vaporizes, it will start to leave a film of solid. Turn down the spinning. You can see that indeed there is no liquid left in our flask. So at this point, we are finished rotovapping. How do we turn the machine off? First thing to do is break the vacuum. And that is, put the stopcock out for the atmosphere. That pulls the atmosphere into the machine and increases the pressure. So we no longer have a vacuum. We stop rotor vapping, we stop the rotor, so we can turn that off. The last thing to do Turn off the aspirator.
And now we should have a solid. Ta da! Now you can scrape this off the sides of the flask, or if that is difficult, you can try to use the Sonicator. This will be the final instructional video for this course. I hope you enjoy the rest of it.